Coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Deuces Wild Jokers Wild Car Show in Atlantic City, and I came across a 1957 Chevy Bel Air I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, and we'll take a quick look at it. How cool is that? You ought to shoot more Tri-5, Scotty. Look, I shoot the cool ones when I find them, and that's why I shot this one. It's a different, it's a pro street build. Just awesome. Love the stance, you know, and I can I comment on wheel size because everything now has got 18s and 20s or 18s and 19s on it. It's got 15 inch wheels all the way around it. Yeah, it's still got an awesome stance. Good looking car. They didn't take any of the uh, coolness away from this 57 Bel Air, but yet they still turned it into a hot rod. And I think there would have been a lot of kids back in the uh, early 60s that, you know, this was their dream machine. Kind of an American graffiti type style, you know, um, where they just went all out hot rod, didn't care, drove them daily, but <laughs> really didn't care about, you know, anything as far as getting back and forth to work as much as they did racing from street light to street light with it. This one was built by One Off Rod and Customs, and uh, they had it on display here at the 2020 Joker's Well Car Show in Atlantic City, part of the Atlantic City Auto Auction and Car Show that's been going on for 47 years. Now that now the Joker's Wild show here at the uh, Showboat, this is the first year for it. It's a nice shot, right? Looking down on top of it. It's the first year for it, and you'll notice a few vacancies. Now, guys, they had, first of all, people were everywhere, but I worked very hard to get in there and get to shoot this stuff when there's nobody around. Otherwise, it's just nuts and butts. That's all you ever get on, you, you know, people standing in front of you and walking in front of you. So don't, don't, let, don't look around thinking, well, they didn't get anybody to show up because now this place was happening for a couple of days this uh, weekend. And this was actually like I say, down the street from the Atlantic City Convention Center where the Audio Auction and the Deuces Wild show was going on. This was a separate show. They had three shows in two locations in one weekend in one city, Atlantic City. I like the way they broke it up. I like the color combination. I like that the, uh, the emblems in the back, they left that gold. I think that sets off really nice on against that... Uh, dark red paint up underneath is what you would expect in a pro street car big wide meats in the back Hoosiers Gary claims that uh, that 540 big block out front will turn those over without any problem and I, I wouldn't argue with him I, I would think that's the case it sounded pretty stout there in the beginning didn't it Nice job on the interior, still all finished out and, you know, something that looks comfortable to drive. Although it's a race car, roll bar, you know, all that kind of stuff, it still still looks like a car that you could get in and uh, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be, be something that you wanted to get right back out of, for a lack of a better way to put it. No, just a nice car all the way around. I think they did, uh, you know, did a great job in the idea and the execution of the idea. The uh, vendors that they used, the people that did the interior, all they they, they made that interior, made that interior, you know, match right up with the build. That was a cool car. I thought y'all would want to see it. If you're in the area in February, make sure that you get out to this uh, Joker's Wild Car Show. It's a great way to spend the weekend. How sweet is that, right? 540, big block, 671 blower, 933 horsepower to the wheels. Color coded to the rest of the car. I like how they put the Bel Air script on the valve cover. I think that looks nice. I like the paneling work they did around it. I didn't see a hood. If they had a hood, I didn't see it. But I don't think it needs one. I think that looks finished. Looks good. Just a real nice car, and everybody always screams for more Tri-5, so when I find one that's a little bit different, I think y'all are going to like. As you can see, I grab it right away. So there you go from the 2020 Joker's Wild Car Show, a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air Pro Street Car. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya!
Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.